Hi students, how are you? Today I will discuss a small topic in solutions, which is known as ideal solutions. In solutions, a small topic, ideal solutions. So, what are ideal solutions? First of all, we should know about solution. Already you know solution. Solution is a homogeneous mixture which contains two or more components. A homogeneous mixture formed by two or more components is known as solution. In those solutions, if two components are there, then those solutions are known as binary solutions. So here generally we are discussing only about binary solutions. In these binary solutions, some solutions are considered as ideal solutions. So today we are discussing about those ideal solutions. What are ideal solutions? Ideal solutions means which obeys solutions which obeys Raoult's law at all concentrations and temperatures. Already we discussed we are discussing about a binary solution. So we can define ideal solution also in this manner in another way solution which contains two or more components and obeys Raoult's law at all concentrations and temperatures. Those are known as ideal solutions. So what are ideal solutions? Ideal solutions are those solutions which contains two or more components and obeys Raoult's law obeys Raoult's law are known as at all concentrations and temperatures are known as ideal solutions ideal solutions generally in these ideal solutions ideal solutions if here ideal solution so point one is what which obey Raoult's law which obey Raoult's law first point which obeys Raoult's law those are known as solution. Now, in these ideal solutions, if the two components are present, we consider A is a solvent, A is a solvent, B is a solution, B is solution. Now, in ideal solutions, two components we are assuming, one component A and second one component B. Component A is solvent component B is solute then the molecular attractive forces between so solvent and solute so here A and B forms a molecule so that is known as AB molecule AB molecule AB molecule means here the molecule formed by solvent and solute the molecular attractive forces of AB is equal to molecular attractive forces formed by solvent molecules and molecular attractive forces formed by solute molecules. So here solvent molecule means A2 or simply we are considered as AA. Solute molecule is BB. So here the molecular attractive forces of AB is equal to the molecular attractive forces of AA and the molecular attractive forces of BB. So here all the molecular attractive forces present between solute and solvent. Solvent, solvent. Solute, solute. Got it? In ideal solutions, the molecular attractive forces between solvent solute is equal to solvent solvent attractions and also with solute solute attractions that is the simple one and in the formation of here third point in the formation of ideal solution delta h delta h mix is equal to zero what is delta H here? Change in enthalpy. Change in enthalpy for an ideal solution 
is zero, not changes. There is no change in enthalpy for an ideal solution. Similarly, delta V for a mixture is, it, uh, is equal to zero. Here delta V means what? Change in volume. Change in volume. So in an ideal solution, change in volume also zero. That means there is no change in the volume. And which type of solutions are formed ideal solutions? That means previously we discussed a solution contains two components. Here the two components are having similar chemical structures and same polarity. Two components means what? Solvent and solute. If solvent and solute are having similar kind of chemical structures and having same polarity, then those type of solutions forms ideal solutions. Some examples of ideal solutions I am discussing now here. So benzene and toluene. Benzene and toluene is a, mi a mixture of benzene and toluene, one of the best examples for ideal solution. And N hexane, N means what? Normal. N hexane and N heptane. One more example. N hexane and N heptane. Third one is ethyl bromide and ethyl iodide. One more example. Ethyl bromide and ethyl iodide. Fourth one is chlorobenzene and bromobenzene. These are the examples of ideal solutions. Got it? Examples of ideal solutions. Benzene and toluene, N-hexane and N-heptane, ethyl bromide and ethyl iodide, chlorobenzene and bromobenzene. If we want to represent the ideal solution in graphical manner, then we have the graph. So here mole fractions and vapor pressure. Here vapor pressure and mole fraction. If we draw a graph between vapor pressure and mole fraction, then for an ideal solution, we will get this kind of graph. Here this is a mole fraction of component A. What mole fraction of component B is 0. Similarly, component A is 0 here, component B is 1. That means, from this side, if you see, component mole fraction of component A increases. So, here pressure increased. That is problem. So, here mole fraction of component B, 0 to 1, increases. So, pressure increases. So, here we are considering that there is a component A partial pressure. This pressure is uh, component B partial pressure. So according to Raoult's law, we know that na, Raoult's law, what is Raoult's law? P of A is equal to P naught A into XA. P naught A, actually proportional constant here, XA mole fraction. So like that. So anyhow, this P0A into XA, XA is equal to 1 here. So this P0A is uh, also considered as a PA. At this point it is PA. Now at this point it is PB. PB. Okay. P0A, PA and P0B, PB. So the total pressure, the total pressure of the mixture. So P of A plus P of B. This pressure is known as P of B. This pressure is known as P of A. So, P of A plus P of B. So, this is the graphical representation for ideal solutions. If we know about the ideal solution, automatically we know the non-ideal solutions are what. So, in these non-ideal solutions, how we can define? So, solutions which not obeys Raoult's law are known as non-ideal solutions. Same points. Solutions which not obey Raoult's law are known as non-ideal solutions. In these non-ideal solutions, here the attractive forces between solvent and solute is not equal to the attractive forces of here solvent-solvent attractions. These are solvent-solvent attractions not equal to. These are also not equal to 
solute solute these are solute solute attractions so in non ideal solutions the molecular attractive forces of solvent solute is not equal to solvent solvent molecular attractions and also not equal to solute solute molecular attractions what it in non ideal solutions and so here third point if you come means here change in enthalpy in ideal solution change in enthalpy is equal to zero na so automatically here yeah, the change in enthalpy for a non ideal solution is not equal to zero similar manner the change in volume in non ideal solution is also not equal to zero so it is a, an important question for ideal and non ideal solution differences difference simple four points easily you will get four points na first one which obeys rolls law which not obeys rolls law molecular attractions of solute solvent is equal to solute solute solvent solvent molecular attractions for non ideal solution molecular attractions between solute and solvent is not equal to molecular attractions of solvent solvent and also not equals to molecular attractions of solute solute now third point if you take change in enthalpy is equal to zero for an ideal solution change in enthalpy is not equal to zero for non ideal solution fourth point if you take change in change in volume for an ideal solution is equal to zero where for non ideal solutions change in volume is not equal to zero examples in pu point of view these examples are important for one more most important yes you remember for examples only simple one so any of benzene and toluene for us important these four examples maximum benzene and toluene n hexane and n heptane ethyl bromide and ethyl iodide chloro benzene and bromo benzene these are the most important examples for ideal solution one more important point how ideal solutions are formed so in ideal solutions solute and solvent molecules are having similar chemical structures and having same kind of polarity then ideal solutions are formed by those components component means solute and solvent okay so these are this is about the ideal solutions ideal solutions examples and graphical representation ideal solution and non ideal solution differences i think you can understand understood na okay thanks